Hello everyone, this is Just Jack, and in today's tutorial we're gonna cover creating the panels with a little bit of different method. I'm gonna use some normal maps to create a tiny detail and settle the shading of the of the edges of, of the panel. So um, at first I created some well demand uh, height map uh, like this. This is a sculpted mesh. I just subdivided it two times and then used the multi-resolution modifier to subdivide it furthermore and do some pretty simple sculpt like this. Okay, uh, Then I baked it into the uh, height map. If you go here to under the render options you have bake and displacement. In my case I used selected to active. I used uh, selected. Mm, in my case, it's uh, uh, sculpted mesh, and active is just a simple plane with unwrapped UVs, and uh, also mm, let me see. Okay, texture behind. Okay. Uh, what you will get as the outcome is this uh, a little bit changed uh, UV ma uh, I'm sorry texture uh, it's actually going to be gray right here and slightly lighter in here but you can change it either in uh, blender itself using color ramp or in GIMP or Photoshop uh, just using levels and marking the black color in the darkest spot of this map you came out with. Okay, um, so you're gonna end up with something like this. And now we are going to use it as a brush uh, to create our detail. Okay, um, let's go in and create a mesh point panel. I'm gonna create it with a simple method you know from the previous tutorials. Alright, let's insert it like this, let's move it to the... Oh, sorry, Alt O. Uh, let's move it on the Z axis and then we are going to create a, a little bit of a variation uh, here by beveling this edge. Okay, this is going to create uh, some geometry of, with a different angle that will represent the little bulge that uh, is created usually by uh, while uh, welding stuff. Okay, uh, so let's leave this one like this, or actually, let's just unwrap this thing. Okay. Uh, and one thing, I use the conformal method because if you leave it in, on the uh, angle based option it sometimes skews a little bit and doesn't actually fill the UV space properly so just switch it to conformal and this way you will get a pretty good unwrap. Uh, you could cut those edges right here and uh, use the same but later on uh, you might get some problems with a normal map, so it's actually, um, you know, handling, you know, is Blender better handles the uniform and wrap rather than, than, than the cuts in, ca cuts in case of a normal map. Uh, so we are just going to leave it as a, as a uh, single UV. Okay, mm. once we have this mesh, we are going to duplicate it. We are going to move it to the next layer and uh, this mesh will serve us as a sculpt base. So let's add some more definition to it. From this and from, sorry, from this side. Okay, it's 31 cuts here. And now let's shade it smooth. Mm, let's do the same thing with this mesh. Um, now, what we are going to do is we are going to add a multi-resolution modifier to it, subdivided a couple of times. Five is usually just fine. Okay, I just subdivided this one, yeah. So, let's delete 
this modifier and add it on the proper mesh. Okay, let's see the density. And actually, this is something we can work with. So, um, those edges right here are a little bit too smooth. So, we are going to handle this by adding some mean crease. Uh, we are also going to add it in here and in here, but without this face, okay? So we are going to be left with a smooth, nice piece of geometry where the weldman will be placed. Alright, and let's give it a mean battle crease of 1. Alright, there we are. So this is a nice sharp but smooth enough edge right here okay let's go into the top view and start creating some settings for the sculpt mode okay now as a base brush I'm gonna just use the this one mm, now let's add a new texture here we're going to go into the texture panel let's select uh, image for movie and let's open this and here's my predefined brush okay uh, now I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go down with the strength to point five I'm gonna go to mm, Yes, it's going to be actually space. Let's give it 20%. I'm going to have a little bit of a variation um, as far as it goes about jitter. Okay, let's give it 0.2. That should be enough. Uh, let's now. Mm, it's not going to be. Uh, it tiled is going to be view plane. Okay, now for the uh, angle, we are going to use the rake. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show it to you how this actually works. Let's give it texture, give something about 50%. Now, the ray brush works like this. It actually changes the angle of the texture based on the vector of your movement with the mouse. So, as you can see right now, I'm not getting the best results because the texture is rotated. So, that's rotate the texture by 90 degrees okay and here as you can see it's starting to follow up my brush quite nice all right mm, I think yes the spacing was changed we can leave the curve on a default uh, the topology is staying the same and now I could actually use the template for this so I'm going to set the strength to be driven by the pressure of the pen okay now I want to make this texture fit nicely to this ridge right here and right now I'm switching to my pen <coughs> and let's start drawing our weldments okay I'm going to start a little bit earlier, so the texture is actually nicely aligned with the movement of my brush. And let's go in and go down like this. Okay, didn't went as I wanted it. Okay, let's go in again. Try to fit in the ridge. Like this, okay. Let's go again. My next stroke. Like this. And as you can see, it's a very, very easy method to create quite a complex shading on our panel. Right, let's go in here and try to make a nice angle right here let's do it again okay and let's 
of a line like this. Alright. Let's give the proper vector. Going like this. Let's go again. A little bit of a tedious process at some point, but the effect is worth it. Alright, we got this bit. Nice edge like this. Proceed to the next ridge. Nice and smooth. You could actually use the mm, smooth stroke to get straight lines. Although I don't quite like this tool, I'm not used to using it. So I'm trying to avoid it. Okay. Let's go in here. Alright. Next stroke. Very nice. Um, if you use your mouse, you could probably get a straighter line right here, but the tablet gives you a little bit of the natural effect with all the imperfections and such. Alright. So let's see how it looks. It looks like a Welderman, no doubt. Okay, I'm just going to go and try to fix this angle here. I like... okay. It would do. So you could go on and try and give it some random shapes like this, you know, when your hand slips with the Welderman. Some imperfections are always welcome in this kind of job. Okay. Alright, uh, now for the second detail I'm just going to use a flat, flatten brush. Go in and give our ridge a little bit of dent like this. Okay, I don't like it like that. I'm trying to create some dent in it. Alright, this works just fine. Okay, and maybe a little bit of tiny dent in here. Okay, just to show you what you can do with a mesh prepared like this. Uh, let's give it a little more in here. Okay, let's smooth it out. Because end of the metal damage more likely. And well probably it has some sort of dented angle right here. Okay. So, um, with the sculpting done like this, we are going to go back to the object mode and switch it to my mouse right now. And let's go and bake this thing to our simplified mesh. Okay? So, let's select the layer, let's select the high resolution mesh first, and then we are going to select the low-resolution low mesh, okay? Let's go into the Bake Options, select Normals, and the option Selected Active is already on. So, let's try and see how this works for us. It's going to take a second to bake. We can take a look at the outcome. Alright, it looks pretty decent. We are going to check this out live by adding point lamp right here. Now we are going to have to create a new material. So it's going to be a normal panel. 
Uh, let's turn off the specular, crank up the diffuse, and add a texture. It's going to be panel and we are going to use the image or movie and select our brush bake. Okay. Then select the UV coordinates, uncheck color, check normal. And one important thing is that we have to use the image as a normal map. Okay. Let's go Alt C for the preview mode. And as you can see, our high resolution mesh was baked into our low resolution model. Alright. It doesn't look like much right now, although you can see that um, important thing, which is the shading of the those little bit of smooth edges right here uh, into the normal, so we don't have to use uh, the bevel, uh, nor we have to use the edge split. All the necessary information comes from the normals. Okay, this is going to be a short one because I'm going to end the recording right here. Uh, but with the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a diffuse and specular texture to this model. So stay tuned and see you soon, guys.